Heavenly Father purposely designed and ordered our world to require us to walk in faith. He pressed into place the pieces of this sophisticated jigsaw puzzle of mortality, but held back a few of the pieces, which he keeps in his pocket to ensure that our faith is required as we come up against the edges and gaps in this puzzle's spiritual landscape. He's ensured that we will not be able to game the system by thinking our way to heaven, to discover him through provable math or science, which would obviate faith and foreclose the very purposes of mortality. Those experiences of accumulating knowledge through flashes of intelligence are similes of my own spiritual life and probably of yours. My testimony, the reason of the hope that is in me, is a composite panorama of the countless bursts of light through an otherwise impenetrable earthly veil. I speak here of such flashes in hopes that they might bring to your mind similar glimpses that have informed your testimony so that in those questioning moments you might remember, remember them. I've learned that the Lord sometimes withholds blessings from us to eventually deliver undeniably discernible miracles. None of these things are coincidences. They are consequences of a string of unpredictable heavenly interventions that have burst through the veil as flashes of light through what has at times felt like a drab, never-ending gray wall. But if we will be faithful observers of the workings of the Spirit in our lives, we can come to better respect the miracles that illuminate the tapestries of our testimonies and find courage to move forward in enlightened faith. Our experiences with the Spirit, yours and mine, may seem best measured in microlumens rather than lightning bursts, but especially on our, in our darkest hours, the Spirit can amplify them to clearly light our way along the covenant path.